Hello, today I'm joined by the internet's Mike Biffle. The internet's uh, Mike Biffle. Yeah, you are on Twitter a lot. That's I, am, I, think it, I am, that's fair. You belong to the internet now. I um, do. But you've brought volume along with you. And I we're have. going to have a look at the build that you're demoing at GDC. Right? That's right. Yeah, this is, the, this is the GDC build minus one bug. Right. Which I'm going to fix the second I get home. Okay. If you find it in this, in this video, then... Uh, you will be the only person with video evidence that ever exists. All right, well, I will take your uh, your word for it. Um, <laughs> yeah, and we're going to jump in and look at a few levels, hopefully starting off with something a little easier as I'm controlling, which I imagine is his first steps. Where where, where do you want to start off? <sighs> I see his first steps is literally you just move. Okay. Like, I feel like I've you might be down. beyond that. Like, you, you understand which thumbstick is going to move the yes. character? Yes, right, yes. Okay, then in which case you don't need to do that that level. Let's do out of, out of circulation just to... All right. Did you not play the game for a while, right? You nope. played it. You played it before a uh, couple of events. Right? Yeah, EGX. Um, yeah. Saying on brand there. There you course. go. There you go. Um, yeah, and this, so we've obviously got Danny Wallace here uh, taking on the role of the AI, but Loxley himself is Charlie McDonnell, who yes. is. Yeah, this is very strange to hear. You were telling me earlier you grew up listening to his. To, uh, yeah, his I was blog. part of the Vlog generation. Oh man, that's amazing. Him, you, you are. You're very much the target audience. So yeah. There you go. Uh, yeah, so I'm expecting like the Velo brothers to be in your next game, uh, both we, of them. We'll do the whole, we'll yeah. do the whole, uh, the whole YouTube fraternity. Listen, it's it's a it's a good audience. It's, they're, they're, it's and and he's he's awesome. Like Charlie's been so good in this. Um, he he's it's his first video game. Um, so I think it's his first like acting like in someone else's. Right, so, sure. like, he's done some short films and things, but I think mm -hmm. it's the first kind of it's definitely his first voiceover gig. And what uh, made you think of yeah. him um, specifically? Just because really, just because he is. I mean, he's the character. Like the character is this kid who starts streaming. How to, basically let's plays for crime. Yeah. Is, is essentially how we describe it. Um, and yeah, I was just down the pub with some friends and describing the story. I said, he's kind of like Charlie McDonald, but he's a thief. <laughs> and just one of my mates at the table was like, I, n I know Charlie, do you want his like, phone number? And I was like, yes, let's get, let's yeah. get him involved. I, yeah. I don't know if this is essentially what you agree with, but I've, I've always felt like uh, Thomas Was Alone feels like quite a British game. Mm -hmm. it, it feels like it was made in Britain. And yeah, that Charlie McDonald's probably the most... British protagonist you could have possibly picked. I so. know, I know when Ameri like I've when I've, when I've like shown this to like Americans, mm -hmm. American journalists, they they kind of fall a little bit in love with Charlie. Right. Um. So yeah. So here you've got movement, obviously on the left thumbstick. Uh, cover you can hug by holding the left trigger. Okay. Oh, uh, and then you can use tr yeah, you're already there. You can use uh, the cross button to work your way around corners. Sure. So you're playing on a dual shock four. Yep, um, that is correct. Yeah. So I wasn't telling you that was that that was just, that was the that was the part of the illusion I, I was I, telling you, but actually I was telling the audience. Oh, 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 okay, I may I may have uh, needed to slightly. Warm yeah, I think you'd be all right. Just circle around here. Oh, the, keep on the wall. Keep on the walls. Oh God! But the, oh, okay. you might be able to get away with this. Go around. There you go. There oh, you go. That's, that was well. That that was a good demonstration of how that some, works. That's some stealth there. Um, so you've yeah. left a gem there though. So once yeah, these guys have. Okay, might that's good. Oh, Do you dare dare risk it? That's not a good idea. Oh, oh god! Oh okay, god! No, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna end well. There okay. we go. I work your way to the left because because this level's a lot easier when you go clock, anti clockwise. Right. Because okay. that's the rough route they're taking. Well, so. But this level's really there just to kind of introduce people to to cover and how the walls work in the game and and how to evade. It's very simple. No mm -hmm. gadgets. You got a couple of gems at the top there. Go and get them. Yep. Yep. I'll I'm going to go back, back for those. those. Okay. <laughs> Getting cover. Oh, right. there you go. Sorry. No, this well, is good. driver. I'm yeah, driver. But to be fair, it must, it must kill you to watch someone come along and play this game. It's a nightmare. Quite as badly. It's a nightmare. I imagine you've had to do that quite a lot. Um, obviously, you've done a, a bunch of uh, shows and also shown it to the press as well, which mm -hmm. is... Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's really useful, especially with a game like this where it's quite complex, just to find where people trip up. Because mm -hmm. it's because you don't want to make a game. You don't want to make a game where it's where it's like just impossible to lose, like super easy games. Yeah, of course. This not gonna be fun. There's, there's that's not for this kind of genre. It works for different genres, but not for stealth. Um, so it's finding that balance of what's frustrating and what's not. It's, it's quite fun showing it. I was just, been doing quite a few press demos today, and one journalist was playing it, and and she was like, I'm. I'm annoyed at myself, but not you. Oh god! And I was like, "That's I, right. That's, that's what I want." That's, that's exactly I want. how I feel after that. Oh, yeah, because and you didn't. Oh, you did checkpoints. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. That's so good. that and that's what that's really what we're going for. Sure. Is we want we want to we want when you're angry, I don't want you cursing me. Yeah, I want you, don't you want cursing your own lack of skills. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, this level's really straightforward, but hopefully just a nice intro to kind of just evading guards. Keeping moving, using cover. There you go. And the exits opened up because you've collected all the gems. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I feel like 
you know, that was the a basics. process. I mean, I took a risk at the end there, but uh, yeah, right. But it works. You can take risks, and this game doesn't penalise you for doing so. Like you can go and you can be a bit, take a few risks. Sure. Um, Are we see. carrying on with? We can do. We can do. What should we do next? I'm trying to think. What would be fun? Um, let's do. Let's do crossed paths because I don't think I've shown. This is a new gadget. I don't think we've shown in okay, the video cool. before. So that's quite fun. Uh, so if you jump in play there. So this one this uses a few environmental interactions. There you can see you've got these these glowing white walls are basically they're the gears of war walls. They're the right. walls you can jump over. Sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> so they work like normal walls as well. So you can use them as cover. But then if you uh, if you if you stop hugging it and press the uh, cross, you can yes, jump okay, over great. it. Like that. Okay. I like, like now, the combat roll there. That's it's good. a good combat roll, isn't it? What you can't jump over is that wall on the right there. You mm -hmm. wouldn't be able to jump over because that's blocked by a force field, which you need to deactivate from the other side, which is what this level's all about, is working your way around. So this guy's hard to get past. What you can do, though, is you've got a whistle yeah. on your square there. Right, I'm gonna, oh, you're already there. Do I want to bring him there. right, I think so, because then I can just dash to the left. Let's see. Well, actually, see which way he moves it. Yeah. There you go. You've played this before. <laughs> there we are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Starting to, starting to not embarrass myself for... Uh, uh, now here's an interesting one because you've got that jumpable wall, haven't you? Mm. I'm trying to. Do I need? But he I need can't. To... He can't go over walls. Right. So if you if you go over to the left, yeah, there, and by I that jump wall, around. he's going to have a much longer. Is that wall. because I need to get down to the bottom left area? Still? Yeah, you want to work right. your way down because you can't again. That force field's blocking that 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 exit, so you're not going to be able to get there. There you go. You've got it. There we go. Okay. Now That's he's it. a sniper, so he's got a long vision yeah. cone. So he's oh. probably going to see you, but it's fine. He takes forever to, sure. to shoot you anyway. Um, All right. Okay. I can do that. You're fine, I think. And you can work um, your way around. Yeah. Uh, no. okay, you'll, be you'll be fine, you'll be fine, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Right, so I know in the past you've talked about uh, Metal Gear a lot in, in mm -hmm, relation mm -hmm. to this game and the, the fact that I saw an uh, interview where you talked about, actually, how do I pick up? If Chris you pick Spurs, up with a uh, cross. Yeah, okay. There you, go. Uh, you talked about the purity of stealth games mm -hmm, and, and mm -hmm. how that's something you want to get back to. Uh, what, what, what does purity mean in, in relation to... What's the, what's I think I think for me. Um, so it, first of all, it's not like I'm not saying you know those games are awful. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, you know I think I think there's absolutely room for stealth that kind of can cross barriers and allow for different things. But I think what we what we maybe lost the way with was stealth that was about evasion that where a gun wasn't an option sure. or an instant you know walk behind them and knock them out yeah no, there's, there's, there, aren't, there isn't an option to yeah no, to, the to way kill. I always play stealth games is I always I always get all these cool gadgets I never use them because I can just go up behind people and, and stealth them sure. in the back of their head so you want that to okay well so I want to go back to that we're on the uh, you've got the masquerade the there. Yes. so the masquerade um, you, you, you switch on with the right trigger it's a timed disguise you only get a very brief moment okay but Enemies won't be able to attack you when you're disguised. They will turn and look at you. So, what you are going to do is on the right there you've yeah, got a guard. You to disguise your, wall. If you disguise yourself, get over the wall, get over the second wall, and then get behind the column yep. before it runs out. You'll be fine. All so right. try that. There you go. Nice. That's the cute little like animation there. That's cool. And he'll yeah, watch he's you. Be not quite sure. And then oh, oh god, he just but, but because he can't go over the wall, he's gonna he's gonna lose it. <laughs> they, they, this is the thing, and that's a, that's that's always the fun balancing act with stealth games. Is yeah. How dumb do you make the AI? Like, sure. Where's that line? You've got drawn? to you've got to figure out how much you want to serve the gameplay, how much you want to serve where that guard fits into the exactly the world. But um, um it's a, you, you if it's it, it any consolation, I'm quite happy that that guard didn't want to chase me. <sighs> it's a, the that's the balancing act. Is when you're when you're playing with this stuff. Like we've actually we've been through the process of making the guards smarter and smarter and smarter and then going actually it's more fun if we don't now with this bit here you can see you're on the other side there of that force field so you yeah. can actually switch that force field off okay. which will open up a path later down the line but you can't go over there because it's blocked right so where do oh, so right. on the left I, here I can on the left, so if you go left, all oh, right, yep, 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 yeah, yep. We're, we need to, we're going to change the way the force fields look a little bit just to make them stand out a bit more from because at the moment everything's just white blocks which isn't very helpful. Right, where am I? Where am so I go there, the, the, go to the left. Uh, there you go. So you can now overload that force field. Ah, I see. Okay. Because you're on, because you're yeah. next to it. Okay. Right. Yeah. Sorry. I was. Uh, a and that's bit... going to have a compound effect. That right. It's going to switch okay. off the other one. Yeah. Um. You can't get to those other ones on the side there. But what you can do now is you can get past that 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 guy in the middle there, the knight. Um. But you're going to have to disguise yourself before you do this. Yeah. Okay. Of course. I've just got the mask. Why would I not be using that? That makes more sense. And is that. Oh. Now that's gone yeah. off. So you go away for that to recharge. But I, you didn't, can I, I wasn't sure if I had enough time to to. To go for a, the, the run back through to the middle. Okay, let's try. And now you got some. Ah, uh, okay. Let's, <laughs> let's just take our time with that. Can I do it whilst I'm in cover? You can. Um, oh, okay, right. That makes sense. And nothing over here. There you go. And now you can work your way back up here to these gems at the top, which yep. you, you can now get to because that force field's down. Excellent. And there we are. 
Okay, cool. And I think that's all the gems, right? That is. Now you've got a little arrow there, uh, the, and you can uh, see that... Luxley compliments himself as... as, as, as <laughs> he's a very he's a, smart guy. He's a let's player. Well, he's can a, I he's say? a let's <laughs> player. Uh, Light-footed boy is quite cool. That's another gadget that we've not shown for a while. All right, cool. So... So the mute, uh, the mute silences your footsteps, which has two effects. One, noisy floorboards, like the ones, the which are the white squares yep. you can see there. Um, those you can move over without making a noise, right. and also you will move super fast because you don't have to worry about your footsteps anymore. So it's kind of a run as well. Okay. But this right. is the mute's actually a really good example of, of how we design how we've designed the mechanics because the mute was originally it was going to be called the thunderclap. It was essentially we were just going to have a gadget you could switch on that would turn off the hearing of the guards. Right. Okay. And what happened was when we started making levels around that, we realized that was boring. Um, and there wasn't actually many interesting puzzles uh, coming out of it. So what we did was we went, okay, let's let's actually let's let's make that gadget do something else as well. People were asking for a jog, a, a run button, so we we're like, oh, we can use that. It sure. mutes and the footsteps, and it makes sense logically within the world. And it just it just it gives us a lot more value and way more puzzles we can do with it. So this one here, we've got the oddity in the bottom left. Yeah. Do, do, I, do I need to switch these items out then? If you I don't have to, or... it's there if you want it. Um, it's basically oh, that was a whistle. That's yeah, a whistle. Yeah. Uh, it's a gadget that you can use to distract guards. Okay. So what you do is you launch that at a wall, um, ah, yes, and, and yeah. then it will then they'll then they'll become obsessed with it, and you can move between them. So here, there's actually a bit of level design, kind of pointing you in the right direction. Here, you've yep. got a picture frame on that wall. If you stick it in the middle of that picture frame, that, then they're going to be distracted by it. So if you use the right thumbstick to aim up, and then you can use the right trigger to f to place it. Oh, right. I need to find a decent. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, <laughs> you're just trying to basically a little bit now. I've now seen that the picture frames an option. So now they're gonna. You can see their timers counting down there. Yeah. But you've got have I lost the mute now? Or, uh, you've lost the mute. Yeah, yeah okay. for the time being. So you're gonna have to find. And a different how would way past. You, you can't you, carry one thing at once. You could get past that with a mute. You can just run that. So I've done that. Right. Was there was there the option there to pick the the mute up after I dropped it, or is, is that no, the conscious decision? You're locked okay, in. But sure. what you can see there is in this next area. Once you get past this guard, there's mm -hmm. a mute in that room. So if you want to re pick up the mute right. and go okay. back the go back with the mute, then that's absolutely available to you. So here you want to use this. The problem here is the second you go down that corridor in the middle, you're going to make a noise and you're yes. going to come looking for that you. Is. So you've got a few options. If you kept the mute, you could just mute mm -hmm. for it. That would be fine. That would be a nice, um, nice option. <laughs> but <laughs> but what you could do is if you could you you can use the sound. So if you place that on the wall next to you there, the oddity. That's right. So uh, or any well any just there. That's yep. fine. If you place that on the wall there, and now go into cover on the on oh, that god. wall there. Oh god. And that but st st and stay in cover and just move to the right. He's going to turn. He's going to look oh, at that. Okay. Now the great thing is when they're looking at things, they stop hearing you as well. Because so they're so distracted by the oddity right. that he's going to stay there until the timer runs out. You want to get in cover before yeah, that yeah, changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I actually, uh, so I, I was just a bit frustrated with myself there for not having shown that off as as well as I could have. <laughs> now that's that's cool. So you can actually. Uh, set up a trap a little yes. bit more in advance. So just... it's not just about that's that's what becomes interesting about stealth. Once you take out killing from the game, um, actually using being detected to guide enemies and manipulate them a little bit and get them to go where you want them becomes how you play the game. Mm -hmm. And that's that's you won't be doing that straight at the start of the game. Obviously, we work our way up to that, but that's something that players will get into as the game goes on. So here now you have the mute, so yeah. you can actually well, that get around. Will long enough to, to get through the whole thing? Um, cover, or I, I guess I can start running after a little. You can while. start running once you're out of his vision cone. Yeah. So if you move around that corner there, and now I get out of cover and run. Oh, oh too late! Do it. Okay. You can do this. Get to that checkpoint. Get to the checkpoint. There you go. Now nice. if you die, it's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Your progress has been nice. saved. <laughs> that was just in time. Okay. And now you can get past these two mm -hmm. guys. Now as I've got well. to use the mute more for speed than anything here, right? Yeah, if I was you, I'd just. Okay, let's. Uh, pump, run, there, run through, right? Yep. You're going to get seen, but you'll be moving so fast that you'll get away. Uh, oh! oh <laughs> very was, nice, yeah, very good. nice. That'll do it. Play something else? Yes, yeah, yeah go uh, ahead. What we got? Uh, um, causal relationships is pretty good. Um, convenient burial. I read that as casual relationships. So that would have been a very different <laughs> level. We're not making that game. Okay. We're not making that game. Or yes. I tell you what, actually, convenient burial. Convenient okay, burial is cool. nice because that's another gadget. So that's that's cool to keep showing off different stuff. Excellent. Like the the color palette here. Yeah, okay. this is we call this the Hotline Miami level. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, so uh, what am I what am I worried about here? The snipers. Yeah. So what? Do I need to uh, whistle like towards the top to get him looking to the left? Well, you're you're the player, Chris. So uh, you have to you have to you're work the, this you're out. The person that made I'm not going to be game. there. I'm not going to be there. Okay. Sat next to the player. 
in, you know, okay. in, when, when, when your audience buys this okay. game, when it's out initially on PlayStation 4 and Vita and then PC and Mac in Nice, that was really well summer. done. Thank I, what you. I liked about that was that it was subtle. Ah, got Getting so close. Oh, oh and then ran back you, were, you were fine like, and then you yeah. messed up. Yeah, um, I want to do that again. Come on. So when, when, <laughs> when, when players buy this game for an incredibly fair price um, <laughs> later in the year... Um, like it's your sales pitch that's putting me off. Like, sorry, yeah. sorry. <laughs> Then they're not going to have me there. So okay. you're going to you need to you need to you need to show these players that they don't need me next to them. This is you're on your own. Oh, man. Come on, do this. Done that a little bit. You can do this. Let's actually do it. not do it. It's just a uh, really elongated whistle puzzle. We like the whistle whistle puzzles. That yeah, one. That was that's good. our bread and butter. All right, excellent. And this is a climb. Kind of, it's fine. Go get to the go, get to the cover. Get the the, the jump yeah, ball cover. Gonna, you're being fine. Oh god, through there. Is he going to just run for it? Still? Sniper's slow. <laughs> sniper's slow. Snipers are more of an obstruction than an sure. enemy in this game. Like, yeah. They're not. They t- like. I know. When I was waiting for them, then it, you've it got is. time. You've yeah. got time. There's always that fun bit at the start of any volume level where where you don't have the gadgets yet, and you're sure. you're, you're always you, most levels start with a little bit of whistling. It's interesting because you... uh, yeah, I was immediately uh, I, in my mind I was thinking how do I use a gadget here to get past this, forgetting that like the the whistle is is always that. Uh, that's your that's option. your baseline, yeah. and actually, to be fair, some of the best levels we have are just without gadgets. Mm-hmm. Are, are just I think I've been I've space. been spoiled by by jumping into. Uh, you're you're being cool given yeah you're away. being given the demo. Never had to deal with whistling then. You was... you would you would yeah you're the the real the the real players they'll they'll have to go up <laughs> right. many 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 levels. Um, so so this is the folly you've got yes. here, which is a tripwire. Right. Um, okay. So any any two block high walls, mm-hmm. uh, if you stand between them, and if you just start, if you just aim sideways at one of those, oh, uh, with the right thumbstick, ah, right. so, okay. yeah, ah, go, and then pull the trigger. Okay, cool. And you can have some kind of angle to it. Yep. And then you got a trip wire now. You need do to I set in. off my own trip wire? You do not. Okay, that's good. Get in cover. I don't know what's going to happen to you, and but I hope. Stunned. Okay, that's good. <laughs> so you have until that time runs out. So it's not long. Like we're not. We don't want to make a game where you're. You know, effectively killing characters. We want it to be sure a, a quick thing, but it's usually just long enough to get past them. So here, yeah. So you want to set it up and then get him to come around a little bit closer. Ah, okay. If you can get it to cover me. quickly enough after being seen, you can do this. Yep. There, there you go. go. And then we can actually and then get past him, and you, you're home free. Excellent. Jeez, all for one gem. Tell you. <laughs> uh, we can't use it here. Let's. Oh, okay. That was a little bit too close for comfort. Nice. Okay. Um, that was tight. Oh, no, 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 no. Get past it, get past it, get past it. You're right, you're right. That would have been the most embarrassing oh. way to have screwed that up. We'd have had to have redone the video at that point, I think. Yeah, I think so. That would have been the only option. It, it hasn't. hasn't uh, wouldn't have fit into the nice kind of heroic. <laughs> You've finale. done well, actually. You've fair play. You're, 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 mm. you're doing all right. <laughs> you you're say doing that right. to all the all You're doing all the right in these press. very carefully selected <laughs> levels that are designed to be just easy <laughs> enough to press. Don't get embarrassed. It's all good. Within, right. with, with the training wheels on, you're doing very well. That's good. You're very good. Well, um, I mean, yeah. I don't know that we can we can improve on that. It was the it was the highest numbered level. I only messed it up a little bit and <laughs> I learned something along the way. That was good. Awesome. Mike, thank you very much for, for stopping down. It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, volume is is this year at some point. That's right. And it's on Sony's Toys First. Sony's Toys First, then a month later, PC and Mac. Cool. Yeah. All right, well, I will look forward to hearing when that is actually going to be I will look available. forward to telling you when. I can tell you when. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our way of saying that I can't have right now. Excellent. Thank you, Mike. <laughs>